Hi everyone, you are watching Nice Dice Gaming channel. In today's video, I will talk about Somerville game. Before we begin, I would like to point out that this video will not contain any major plot spoilers. All captured footage is from first starting hour of the game. My idea is that I would rather show you less, but tell you more instead, so you can actually enjoy the game for yourself if you decide to try it out. I have played this game on PC using Game Pass, and I use DualSense as my controller. Somerville is developed and published by Jumpship, a relatively new independent game studio from UK. And this is their debut game. Worth to mention that players have high expectations for this one, since Somerville is produced by Dino Patti, who was executive producer for well-known Limbo and Inside games. Somerville is an adventure game with focus on puzzle solving mechanic. And while it is mainly side-scrolling perspective, it also can surprise you with 3D camera angles turnarounds. We play as father of an ordinary family. We have wife, small kid and dog, all living in a cozy house outside the city. We used to spend evenings with family watching our favorite movies and shows. All of this is suddenly falling apart as we hear loud noises outside the house. Trying to understand what is going on in this world, we decide to take a car and hopefully get to a safer place with all of our family. As we close distance to our garage, we experience a major blow coming from the sky directly at our car place. Having nowhere to hide, we rush into the house basement with hopes for the best. After another serious The first thing we see as we are waking up in the basement is that our whole family is gone. From this very moment, our ultimate goal is to reunite all together. Throughout the game, while trying to do so, we will uncover shaking truths of what really happened to our planet. Somerville offers a rich puzzle solving mechanic. It is layered by abilities which our character is capable of. I have enjoyed puzzle difficulty, it fits the line where we have both basic and advanced ways to solve the task. Generally, all puzzles were straightforward except only one where I had big troubles finding one switch items. But that's just based on my experience, you probably will do just fine. The story gets more intense and dramatic as you move forward. Somerville always has something to tell you about the world we are in, even though there are no dialogues or narration in this game. You will discover knowledge from things that are around you, from living forms you will meet. Just put some attention to your surroundings if you want to know more about this world. There are definitely hidden gems in this story that will leave you scratching your head after you close the game in attempts to solve its mysteries. Honestly, I have so many questions after my first playthrough. It took me close to 4 hours to complete the game, and how long the beat says it should take only 3 hours for you to finish the main story. So it's actually close to the truth, having in mind that I could spend up to 20 minutes trying to solve some of the puzzles. I have been reading some reviews and players feedback before writing text for this overview, and I can say that I did not experience any major technical difficulties playing this game. I just wish I could pet the dog. But on a more serious note, the only thing I had is that I was randomly stuck in certain places at some of the locations. That happened only two times when I tried to reach specific corners of the locations. In such cases, I had to start the game from the recent checkpoint, and that's it. Besides this, I had no vibration on DualSense, even though it was enabled in options. The main player's concern was that there is no support for keyboard mouse input. Looks like it was an unintentional decision from Jumpship. This fix is already live on Steam and Epic platforms, with other PC versions being fixed during this week. Jumpship is very open with their communication with the community and already working on other fixes and improvements. Sound design and music in Somerville are both special magic. Dramatic mood is well transferred through it. Very well done. In the end, I would like to sum up everything I have said in this video. It is a great game for players that like platformers, puzzles, very deep and touching story that is not fully explained during your first playthrough. But instead, it actually leaves a big space field for you to think about what just happened. Somerville might have short playtime, but it will definitely make you to play it again, so that you hopefully find answers to some of your questions and complete other game endings. I would like to know your first Somerville impression after watching this overview. Or if you have already played it, I wonder what's your opinion on this game. Let's have a discussion in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed watching this overview and I will see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day.